can you use the free version of CapCut to create designs that I would create in Photoshop? Let's find out. So most of these images I got from either Pexels.com, Elements and Vado, or just off of the internet as far as just LeBron and Curry. Let's drag LeBron down into this timeline and we're gonna remove the background from him. To do that, what we're gonna do is go over here to cut out and then we're gonna go down to auto cut out. So that's gonna remove the background from LeBron. But as you see right here, there's a little bit of the background still kind of on his ear. So let's get rid of that. To do that, all I'm gonna do is go over here to customize. Now these two are the pro, so I'm gonna just use this eraser tool to get rid of this since I want it to be the free option. Let's bring this size of this eraser down and it's pretty much just like a Photoshop mask and we're just gonna remove this piece. Now we have LeBron removed from the background and now we're gonna add in Curry. But before we do that, let's change the ratio of this image so that it actually looks one to one because that's the size that I wanna do. So to do that, I'm just gonna go right here to ratio. I'm gonna click that. Then we're just gonna click one to one. Now we have this box canvas and then we're gonna add in Curry and have him removed from the background as well. To do that, we're just gonna bring him down into the timeline too and drop him right there. And then we're just gonna go through the same exact process with the auto cutout. Curry came out perfect, so I didn't even have to do any edits to this. It was just that LeBron ear that kind of got messed up a little bit, but I'm gonna use these two for this example. Now that those two are removed from the background, I'm gonna add in the background so that we can see how they mesh with that canvas. So let's just take this image right here that I got from Pexels, and we're just gonna drag this down right here. Now that we have the background in there, what we're gonna do is, is just expand this all the way to the edge. And then in Photoshop, what I would do is, is add a Gaussian blur or something like that so that it's a little bit pushed into the background and it pushes LeBron and Curry up. But since I can't do that, a secondary thing you can do is, is change the opacity. So lowering the opacity is going to almost raise the opacity on the two forefront objects. We're just gonna stay right here on basic in video and we're just gonna bring this opacity down. And now LeBron and Curry have much more of a focal point. Next, let's situate Curry and LeBron. I'm gonna keep Bron right where he's at. And we're just gonna make him a little bit bigger. And let's say we have him right here, kind of giving that meme mug. And Curry's just gonna be like, I'm bothered. Like, I can do that too, King. Next up in this composition, we are going to add in the shadowing. So this is a definitely a workaround. In Photoshop, you can use just a brush or whatever you want. But for this, we're gonna use this image right here. And hopefully we'll be able to just use this left side of this image as a darker background shadow. And then I'll just kind of manipulate it and use it in different places. I have no idea if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it live and in action and see what happens. We're gonna bring it down below LeBron, but above Curry. Drag this in, and right now it still says it's above, so what we're gonna do is just click through these layer buttons right here, and it should start to change it. So now, clicking three puts it on layer three, and that's in front of LeBron and behind Curry. Next, we're just gonna rotate this. So let's go ahead and rotate this by going over here to rotate. And you can either click this and kind of do it this way, or you can just go over here and kind of make your move from there. And then we're gonna scale that pretty high. And now as you see, we're gonna try and use this bottom half as a shadow because shadows add depth in your image. So now how do we do a workaround with something that's like a free program like this? So let's go over here to mask and we're gonna click on the circle. Now what we're gonna do essentially is just drag this so that we get a good position on just this black part down here. And now let's feather it. So this is almost gonna act like a Gaussian blur or vignetting on a shadow. And I did not know if this will work, but it looks like it is working. So we're gonna add this shadow right here where LeBron is. And then we're just going to hopefully change the opacity Let's go to basic, 
Let's bring that opacity down. Now we're starting to add in some shadowing that's going to add a bit of depth. Next up, we're going to add some text in just to kind of give it some balance, and then we'll start to add in other elements. We're just going to go over here to text. So we're just going to double click this, and we're going to change this to win. And it's just like a quick question I'm imposing on who will win. Then we're going to go over here to scale, and we're going to move this up. And then if you want to change your font, which I'm going to do to make it a bit bolder, is I'm just going to go over here to font where it says system, and I'm going to use... I think I'll use Avenir next. Let me see how that's hitting. I'm going to use Avenir next. Next, we're going to add who will up the top. So let's drag that the font down. Put that right there. This one I'm going to put right above this. Let's double click that and we'll put who will. And we're going to change the scaling a little bit and the spacing. The next step, so let's go back to media, and this is going to be adding in just another gradient level. So I'm gonna bring this down. And now we're gonna mask this pretty much on this part. So that's a gradient pushing upwards. And then we're gonna use that in front of them just to add a little bit more depth. And for this one, we're gonna use split. So now that we have it split, all we're gonna do is start to rotate this which I'd like it just like that. We're gonna bring this down. And as you start to see, it's gonna add that bit of gradient, but I still wanna bring this down even more because I don't want this to be in there, the uh, fruit. And then we're just gonna take this and lower the opacity. Next up, we're gonna add in some explosion smoke just behind them here to kind of corrupt these people's faces. And then we're gonna get into adding a little bit of this extra smoke that we got from Elements and Vado 2. So we're gonna drag this down behind Curry. Somewhere right there. And then we'll make sure it's on the right layer. So right now it's on layer six. We want this on layer two, maybe? Yep, layer two. Then we're just gonna drag, make sure we have this. So this is giving a little more depth and it's getting rid of those faces behind them. So now we're gonna go down here and duplicate this twice. So that's just Command C, Command V twice. And now we have three of these layers and I'm just gonna take this second layer and I'm gonna put it right about here and I'm gonna take this layer and I'm gonna put it right about there. Maybe something like this. And then what we're gonna do is just make sure these layers are below by kind of clicking on those and bringing them down to like the two layer. So now you have just a little bit of more depth and then we're gonna just bring this smoke file in and we're gonna put this one up top. Make sure it's up close. And then as you see, like this is very, very subtle, but it also adds a little bit of depth. So let's go over to Curry. He's looking a little more orange and green. So let's bring out some of his colors by going over here to adjustments. We're just gonna go down here and kind of get into the Photoshop mindset and change some basic colors, then check out the color wheel and curves and kind of make everything feel like it's unison from a color standpoint. So I'm literally just gonna play around with this just kind of like I do with a Photoshop. I wanna get rid of some of the green and brightness on Curry tone him down and change his hue just a little bit. Now we're gonna go over to LeBron and we're gonna work on his image as well. All we're gonna do is go over here to this little hamburger menu. I'm gonna click that, then we're gonna export still frame. So let's click that. I'm gonna actually save this as a 4K image and we'll do it as a JPEG. And all you gotta do is click export. And just like that, that's been exported. And now let's bring in a new project with this image in, and then we'll make our final adjustments and different things like that. All right, next we're gonna go over here and just click import. And we're just gonna import the file that we made, which is who will win. Let's bring that in, let's drag this down. Let's make any last minute adjustments. Let's see here. And as you can see, this is what we brought in 
this is what it looks like now. So you can add in pretty much what you want when it comes to a color and a tone setting standpoint. And you can keep adding layer after layer after layer. It's just like Photoshop when it comes to the layers, lighting, and levels. And just like that, I've shown you how to create designs for free. Those layered designs where you can get into thumbnails and flyers and posters and different things like that. You're doing it completely free and it's just using the principles of Photoshop to get it done. If you want to see more stuff like this, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, hit the notification bell, all those good things. I'm going to keep giving you some free game on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video. It's Jay.